In this video, we're going to take a look at left tab stops in Word 2019. If you want to align text in a Word document, do not use spaces. There are basically two ways that you can align text. One is by using tabs, and the other one is by putting the text in a table. We're going to look at tabs in this video. Specifically, we're going to look at left tab stops. Before we do this, we need to check on two things. First of all, go to the Home tab. Make sure that your Show Hide button is pushed in. And secondly, go to the View tab and make sure that your ruler is visible. Uh, it's real important that you can see the, vis uh, the ruler when you're doing things with tab stops. So let's go to the beginning of a blank document here. And I'm going to hit the Tab key once. And because I have Show Hide pushed in, the tab characters show up as a horizontal arrow. I'm going to press tab a few more times. I'm going to hit enter, go down to the beginning of a new line. And you'll see that the tab stop, after I hit it four times, the tab stop is lined up right underneath the two inch mark here. Okay. And if I were to start typing now, that is where my text would begin directly under the two inch mark. And how does Word decide that? By default, uh, tab stops are every one half inch. So there's a left tab stop there that you can't see. There's one there that you can't see. And there's one there and there's one there. So you can't see the default ones. At one point uh, in a previous version of Word, it did show you where the default tab stops were. Uh, it doesn't do that anymore. So if you're satisfied with tab stops every half inch, you can just leave them where they are, I suppose. However, this is not a good way to align text. If this is the first text that I want to appear on a line, uh, don't put four tab characters in front of it. What you need to do is just set one tab stop right there at the two inch mark. So let's go down to a new line here and let's see what that would look like. So if you want to put a tab stop on the ruler, all you have to do if it's a left tab stop is just click at the point where you want on the ruler. So I just put a left tab stop. There's a little L there that shows up. That's how you know where the tab stop is. And another effect of inserting your own tab stops is it gets rid of any default tab stops that happen to be before that. So the half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch tab stops that we had on these lines aren't there anymore. And if I hit tab now, it takes me over to this position. Now I can type in some junk, hit enter. And the tab stops carry over. They're paragraph commands. They carry over to the next paragraph. If I hit tab again, the tab stop is carried over. You can look up here on the ruler and see that it's in the exact same spot that it was before. And I can start typing stuff in. So don't use multiple tab stops. Uh, just use one to get to the first place where you want to stop on a line. Now, obviously, if you want to have uh, more than one column here, let's. Uh, I'm going to select these two lines here. And I've got a left tab stop here. Let's put another left tab stop over here at the four inch mark. Now, if I hit another tab character and start typing in some stuff, then I will get stuff lined up at the four inch mark as well. So if I were doing this on this line up here, you know, I'd have to type in more than one. And in, in this case, if I've got more text there, now I've only got to hit the tab key once to type in some stuff. So everything still lines up on these lines but i've got four tab characters separating this column from this column and i've got two tab characters separating this column from this column if i never have to reformat that'll be just fine but if i do have to reformat let's take this stuff down here let's say i want to change the tab stops after i've already created the, the text well if i slide this over now everything still looks fine this all lines up in one column if i slide this over you know, this all looks fine. It lines up in one column. Now let's go up here and try this and see what happens. If I change my tab stops up here, let's, we'll just leave these here by default, these first four tab stops. And then let's say that I put another tab stop here. I want to skip and have stuff start at, at the four inch mark here, which is where it is right now. If I click on that, that takes the first tab character on each one of these lines and takes it over to the four inch mark. Then the next tab character on this line goes to the next default tab stop. Uh, because I've got three tab characters up here, it goes, you know, three more default tab stops. And now this stuff doesn't line up anymore. So it works out much better in the end if what you do is you decide how many columns you want. You use one tab character for each column. And then if you decide later that you want to rearrange things, you want to line them up a little bit differently, uh, everything still works. 
Whereas, whoops, let's uh, let me try that again. Let me drag that over a little further, and I got too far off the ruler, and that's what happened. So, just put one tab character between columns, and it'll be much easier to revise your document later on. One other thing about left tab stops. The reason that I'm getting a left tab stop when I click on the ruler here is because of what's over here on the far left end of the ruler. There's a little left tab stop character there and whatever appears in this box over here is what's going to appear over here when I click on the ruler. So as long as this little L is there, this little corner, then uh, wherever I click on the ruler, I'm going to get a left tab stop. Now let's go to this left button here and click on it once and it switches and this happens to be the symbol for a center tab stop which we'll talk about in another video if i click on it again i get a different character this is a right tab stop and if i click again i get a decimal tab stop and then if i click a few more times i get some other symbols that are not actually tab stops and i cycle back after about seven times i get back to the original left tab stop character so if you want to insert a left tab stop up here these are the tab stops. The arrows down here are the tab characters. If you want to insert another left tab stop up here, just make sure that what's visible over here is the left tab stop symbol. Also, if you want to remove a tab stop from the ruler, the easy way to do it is just click on it and drag below the ruler and let go and it disappears. Now the first tab stop on this line is the one at the two inch mark and everything lines up accordingly. If I want to get rid of the one at the three inch mark here, just click and drag it off of the ruler and now everything lines up at the four inch mark over here and that's how you do left tab stops in word 2019